Step into the world of cinema where black and white weren't just hues, but perspectives, as we journey back to 1967 and the film that dared to defy societal norms. Guess who's coming to dinner? Do you remember that first moment, when the screen flickered to life and you found yourself caught in a whirlwind of emotions? Perhaps it was the audacity of the plot or the earnest performances that left an indelible mark on your soul. Maybe, just maybe, it stirred conversations at your dinner table, igniting discussions about love, prejudice, and the very essence of human connection. As the narrative unfolded, hearts raced, and minds reeled, a young interracial couple's announcement to their parents shatters the comfortable cocoon of their seemingly liberal lives. It was a collision of generations and ideologies, encapsulated in Sidney Poitier's commanding presence and Katharine Hepburn's sublime grace. The tension in each exchange was palpable, as Spencer Tracy's conflicted father figure wrestled with his own biases and expectations. Yet, amidst the chaos of opinions and society's whispers, there were moments that etched themselves into your memory. It might have been that poignant exchange at the dinner table, a sentence heavy with unspoken words, a glance charged with hopes and fears. It's the way those moments resonated with your own experiences, provoking contemplation on how far we've come and how far we have yet to go. Now, as we delve into the behind-the-scenes tales of this cinematic gem, let's uncover the threads that wove this masterpiece together. From the casting decisions that defied norms to the real-world relevance that still echoes today, well journey through the lesser-known facets that make Guess Who's Coming to Dinner an immortal part of film history. So, buckle up for a ride through time and celluloid, where barriers were shattered and dialogues were ignited, all on the silver screen of change and reflection. Let's explore those random facts that colored this cinematic canvas, creating a tapestry of enlightenment and introspection. After all, it's not just a movie, it's a mirror to our past and a beacon for our future. Unveiling the intriguing cast details of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in the annals of cinematic history. The 1967 masterpiece Guess Who's Coming to Dinner continues to captivate audiences with its poignant exploration of societal norms and prejudices. While the film's narrative brilliance is widely celebrated, a lesser-known treasure trove of cast details adds a layer of intrigue to this iconic production. Notably, the film marks the debut of Isabel Sanford, whose later portrayal of Louise Jefferson on The Jeffersons cemented her status as a television legend. Yet, it is the revelation of her groundbreaking accomplishment that demands attention. In 1981, Sanford shattered barriers by becoming the first African-American woman to secure the Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. The echoes of her cinematic debut reverberate far beyond her initial role, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. However, it is the symbiotic relationship between veteran stuntman John Hudkins and the esteemed Spencer Tracy that truly astonishes. While Hudkins may have portrayed the disapproving cab driver on screen, his significance extends well beyond his role. The intrepid stuntman, long entrusted with emulating Spencer Tracy's daring feats, stepped into the spotlight as Tracy's double during the film's harrowing car crash scene. This synergy of talent and trust is a testament to the unsung heroes who breathe life into the cinematic vision. Amid these revelations, one intriguing enigma emerges, the perplexing absence of lenses in Spencer Tracy's glasses during his resounding closing speech. The deliberate choice, whether a stylistic quirk or an unnoticed oversight, underscores the subtleties filmmakers weave into their craft. As the credits roll on Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, these lesser-known facets of the film's history shine a light on the multifaceted brilliance that defines the cinematic experience. From Sanford's trailblazing debut to Hudkins' hidden contributions and Tracy's lensless gravitas, the tapestry of this cinematic triumph is richer than meets the eye. Stanley Kramer, the producer and director of the 1967 film Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, displayed unwavering dedication to the project's success. Not only did he secure Katharine Hepburn's commitment, but he also staked his own salary in escrow. This strategic move was aimed at mollifying the studio's concerns about casting Spencer Tracy, given his frail health. The studio's apprehensions stemmed from Tracy's delicate condition, yet Kramer's financial maneuver helped ease their worries. One pivotal moment etched in the annals of cinematic history occurred during the film's production. The final scene, featuring Spencer Tracy, also marked Tracy's last appearance on screen. A week's worth of meticulous filming culminated in a poignant cinematic moment. As the scene wrapped, a standing ovation cascaded from the crew, acknowledging the actor's legacy. Regrettably, a mere 17 days later, Spencer Tracy's earthly journey came to an end. The narrative resonance of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner extended beyond the screen, permeating the real-world socio-legal tapestry. In a prescient exchange near the film's conclusion, the character Matt reflects upon the evolving stance toward interracial marriage. He conveys a poignant truth that such transformation might not manifest within his own lifetime. Poignantly, Spencer Tracy's demise preceded the resolution of Loving v. Virginia, a landmark case that dismantled legal barriers to interracial marriage. Tracy's passing, just two days before the case's conclusion, underscored the synchronous interplay between art and life. 
In essence, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner became more than a film, it was a convergence of artistry, foresight, and societal evolution. The interweaving of Stanley Kramer's financial acumen, Tracy's final on-screen presence, and the film's prophetic relevance to a legal milestone paints a tapestry of profound significance. Katharine Hepburn's unyielding resolve, a testament of love on the silver screen in the annals of Hollywood history. Few stories resonate with the sheer determination of Katharine Hepburn's unwavering commitment to the 1967 cinematic masterpiece, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. As the luminous star power behind the film, Hepburn found herself facing a formidable hurdle as production loomed. Her co-star and longtime companion, Spencer Tracy, was battling a grave illness. With the studio's apprehension about ensuring an ailing actor, Hepburn took matters into her own hands, leveraging her own salary to secure the film's completion. The studio's trepidation stemmed from a fear that Tracy might not survive the duration of filming, a circumstance that could spell financial disaster. Hepburn, however, stood firm, adamantly refusing to undertake the project without the man who had shared her life and her art for so long. Tracy's health remained perilously uncertain throughout production, adding an unspoken layer of tension to the set. Despite this shadow, he managed to fulfill his role's demands, his commitment culminating in his final scene capture merely 17 days before his passing. A poignant testament to their partnership, this bittersweet closing chapter serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring bond that fueled their careers and their love. The film's narrative, focusing on an interracial romance in a time of societal upheaval, held its own weighty significance. Sidney Poitier's character, John Prentice, faces opposition from his own father in a pivotal scene where Mr. Prentice grimly intones, in 16 or 17 states you will be breaking the law, you will be criminals. Yet, by the time the movie's message reached audiences, the legal landscape had undergone a seismic shift. On June 12, 1967, the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in Loving v. Virginia heralded a new era, declaring anti-miscegenation laws unconstitutional. The real world of guess who's coming to dinner intersected with the real world, capturing a transformative moment in American history. The film's poignant climax showcases a heartrending soliloquy by Tracy's character, a moment where art and reality harmonize. As he delivers his lines, an unscripted tableau unfolds. Hepburn, his real-life partner, can be seen weeping in the background. This tender display of raw emotion transcends acting, offering a glimpse into the profound connection shared between the two luminaries. Hepburn's tears weren't just for her character's plight, but a reflection of the painful awareness that her cherished companion was nearing the end of his journey. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner stands not only as a cinematic masterpiece, but as a canvas that mirrored the complexities of its time. Hepburn's bold gamble, Tracy's poignant swan song, and the ever-shifting societal landscape converge to create a film that remains a touchstone in the realm of art and culture. In this tale of love, resilience, and societal transformation, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner immortalizes the indomitable spirit of its stars and the unbreakable bond they shared, a legacy that continues to resonate through the ages. 1,967 Seconds Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, a window into societal shifts in the tumultuous year of 1968. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, a cinematic exploration of interracial romance, held its grip on theaters across the nation. As the movie continued its run, a fateful event shook the world, the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. This film, an emblem of progressive ideals, inadvertently found itself entwined with history. Notably, there exists a scene where Joey, played by Katharine Houghton, jests with the maid, Tilly, about an unexpected guest. The Reverend Martin Luther King, Tilly playfully quips, tragically, reality echoed fiction. When King was slain, studio directives swiftly reached theaters, ordering the scene's excision, a poignant convergence of real and real, revealing the ever-shifting zeitgeist. Beyond the film's timely resonance, its star Katharine Hepburn etched her name in Oscar annals. With a fourth Academy Award for Best Actress in Hand, bestowed for her role in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Hepburn secured a unique legacy. An unparalleled feat, Morning Glory, this very film, The Lion in Winter, and later on Golden Pond testament to her indelible mark on cinema. Yet, within the backdrop of societal progress, an ironic twist emerged. Joey's line, even if you had any objections, I wouldn't let him go now, even if you were the governor of Alabama. I mean if mom were, bears peculiar relevance. Lurleen Burns Wallace, wife of segregationist Governor George Wallace, held the gubernatorial reins of Alabama during filming. A stark reminder that change, however cinematic, remains entwined with complex realities. In the grand tapestry of 67 seconds guess who's coming to dinner, these threads intertwine, weaving a narrative that encapsulates a nation at the crossroads of transformation. A movie that defies simplicity, refracting both the silver screen's allure and the world's intricate shades. As the curtains draw to a close on this cinematic journey, the timeless allure of guess who's coming to dinner lingers like a fine melody, resonating in the corridors of our minds. 
the yearning for love that transcends barriers, the courage to challenge societal norms, and the eloquence of hearts unburdened by prejudice, these are the threads that have woven this masterpiece into the tapestry of our collective consciousness. As you sit back and reflect on this 1967 gem, let the echoes of Dr. John Wade Prentice's words reverberate in your thoughts, you have to stand for something, or y'all fall for anything. In the delicate dance between two families divided by race, guess who's coming to dinner transcends its era and becomes a mirror, urging us to examine our own beliefs and biases. What moments struck a chord with you? Was it the fervent dialogue at the dining table, the unfiltered authenticity of Sidney Poitier's portrayal, or the poignant monologues that etched their mark upon your heart? In the world of cinema, a tale becomes a treasure when it forges a connection with the audience, a connection that goes beyond celluloid frames and permeates the very essence of our existence. We invite you to share your reflections, to delve into the depths of your connection with this cinematic treasure. Reach out and let your thoughts flow, for it's in the exchange of ideas and emotions that the true magic of storytelling finds its zenith. In this digital age, where voices span continents and experiences, let us weave a mosaic of memories, thoughts, and insights about guess who's coming to dinner. Your words are the brushstrokes that paint a richer, more vibrant tapestry of appreciation for this cinematic milestone. Thank you for indulging in this conversation, for taking a moment to relish the beauty of a film that has touched souls across generations. Your time and passion are valued, as they shape the dialogue around the films that make us ponder and feel. Reflect, share, and celebrate, for it's these very experiences that define the legacy of a film like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Until we meet again on the canvas of another captivating narrative, cherish the memories and insights you've uncovered here. With gratitude and anticipation,